Hello everyone and welcome back to CIGTR channel. So today I'm gonna make a small tutorial to show you guys how to draw the birds like this one with Medibank Pen Pro. Okay, I will start from the beginning to show you guys how to do it. First, I will use the pen brush on the G pen, depend on your choice, but I prefer G pen more because I just like it. That's it. Okay, and next I will pick a color to create the base color of the birds or the tree or whatever you uh, want to draw next I will create the shape of the shrub or the birds in here kind of like an egg or triangle like this one and then I will use the bucket tool to fill this one the next things that I will create the details for this one you will have two options the first one is my way, uh, it will explain more time, uh, but it will give you a feeling it's really detailed and like you create it to make it more naturally. Yeah. The second way that you would use the uh, stamp brush of Mediband, like the brush that have the leaf already, leaf self already here. Um, where is it? Here, this is the leaf brush. You can see the self. This one here, you can download it from the Medibank Cloud. And uh, remember, you will you need to turn off the opacity by pressing here to have the solid color. Okay. So the next thing is that you will create a new layer here to create the self, the brush around here. You maybe want to change the setting of this one a little bit, like no scattering that's it and draw around here the bus detail this one I'm not really suggest this one because you can see how unnaturally of this one look but it's really quick like this you maybe want to change a little bit for this one Yeah, maybe that is. Okay, so that's how you will create the self, the base color self, the base self of the bus or the strip, whatever you want. So uh, my way is like this. I will create a new layer. Use the cheap pen or pen, depend your choice. I will use the cheap pen in here, and I will create my own pattern. That's I will draw the branch in here, and then curl the the leaf like this. You know that I use the welcome or graphic tablet, so you have the pressures of the brush in here. First, you will hold it slightly, and then push it hard at the middle, and release it at the end, and you will have the leaf form like this one. So that's what I'm gonna do. Do it quick and you will have the self like this. Okay. So I'm gonna draw it around here to make it more naturally for the leaf like this one. Spend a little bit time for this one uh, and do some self like this. You can do a trick here that you already draw. You can see that how I'm drawing here, and then duplicate this one by holding. I will erase this one first. By holding, choose the layer you just create here by holding Control or Command with J like this, and you will see that the layer ten now is duplicate. You will use the Move tool to move it around. Transform tool to reduce or increase the size to make it different rotate it or maybe you want to flip it to another size so apply this one and you will turn this one on where is it okay here you see that how we will work it duplicate more and more it's also real quick right um, here too 
So basically, you will have some self catalysis and burst them on by holding Control or Command with E until here. And lately, I will use the G pen again, my favorite brush, and use transparent box in here to create some uh, grass self and you will draw the line here to draw the grass on the ground and on this one and go back to the basic color in here to draw some grass in here to make it look more naturally that's it so after all of your work you will have the form like this one okay so here will be your basic layer and the next thing, you create a new layer, choose clipping so you will work in this basic stuff of the bus or the scrub. Uh, you will use the airbrush in here and pick two colors. The first color is going to be the shadow and the second color is going to be the highlight. Okay, I prefer the color around uh, the blue neat signs in here for the um, shadow. And I will drag the airbrush, increase the size of the airbrush to make it big and drag it around here. Remember where is your light source and then you will pick the highlight, put it around here. That's it. So you will have amazing uh, the, the pictures in your mind that how the light will appear in here and where's the shadow. Next step, you create a new layer for the detail. These details, you just do the same as the basic stuff. You can use the leaf brush or you can do it on your own like I did before. That's you the cheap edge in here and remember the pattern you will use. First, I will click the shadow color. Use uh, left, right click, yeah, right click. And you will pick the color of the uh, shadow here and start to draw. Like this this is gonna be I will draw around here so you see this is gonna be the pattern I will use one two three four five like this and repeat the pattern until the end and you will create the shadows in here like this you will see it will appear like this <coughs> When you read to the <coughs> lighter color, pick the lighter color around here and pan over this with the same pattern and you will have the detail of this one. Continue to work around the color area that it will show you and you will have the final result of this one here, the color of the highlight and the shadow then it's gonna be the detail you can see it i uh, repeat a lot of pattern in here for the dark color <coughs> i will pick around here i maybe want to pick a darker color and then the middle color in here until it's reached to the highlight color like this one now i'm finished the detail for this burst of uh, shrub uh, maybe uh, until this step and you work it first uh, it's gonna be around five or six minutes and the next thing this one just the optional uh, if you love to look like this enough just leave it the same or you want it to have more transparent look you will create a new layer and choose darken blending darken and then you will use the airbrush pick the color to make the shadow look more smooth uh, you will pick the color around the green, around the middle colors in here and use the airbrush here to drag it like this one. Okay, you can see the color gonna be dark like this with the shadow. Okay, this one just be optional. You can do it or not, depend your choice. Next, we're gonna add some color, some effect for this one to make it more beautiful. Okay. I will create a new layer and change it blending to the dodge in here. The dark blending here will make your color more brighter, more saturation, and more beautiful. 
if your color looks kind of dull, you can use this color, this blending, to make your color look more vivid and uh, brighter. Okay, you can see I will turn this one on as this is how it looks. So I will create a new layer, choose those here, airbrush the same, and pick a color. Here I want to create some feeling that make the color more beautiful. So I will pick around the uh, purple in here near to the pink kind of like this and you will see with the dot color is we're changing the shadow of this one you can see now the color and I will add more green here you can see how the color is gonna be brighter so be careful when you use this one or else it will look kind of strange okay here more brighter color that's what I'm doing the next thing here, I create a new layer, normal, that could add more detail to create more feeling about the highlight. That depends on your choice, you can do that or not. It will be uh, just more effect or it's just stay the same. Okay, so you just create a new layer, just leave it normal, pick the color, the highlight color in here and choose this more lighter color. Turn it around the yellow in here, go back with the G pen, add a detail of the brush to make it look brighter like this one. You can see, draw the same pattern of your brush here and here. Don't add it too much. You remember that is where the strong line will appear in the brush or the shrub around here. So add it like this one. Okay some here and maybe some here some here too until you're satisfied with the result you'll see that is the color i chose in here and then the final one is a little bit touching to make it more stunning you will create a new layer and choose the blending is Add. This add will make your color look kind of is like glowing and because you this one will be the best effect if you want to show the strong light appear on your object so I will choose add for blending go back with the airbrush in here for soft feeling pick the highlight color and you will see that how it working like this one okay so that is all about the tutorial thank you for watching and see you next time